Slots are a great way to provide flexibility to your components. By accepting any type of content from the parent component, we're not locking ourselves into a specific data structure like we would if we're using props. Scope slots take this flexibility a step further. By allowing us to pass data from the child to the parent component, we can have some sort of structured data in our child and then control the rendering from the outside. The one thing with slots is that they can be a little tricky to work with in TypeScript, or at least they were. In Vue 3.3, there's a new defined slots macro that we can use to define the types of our slots and what we want to pass from a child to our parent. This is great for a couple reasons. It makes our slots more type safe, it can help us make slots more consistent, and it can make us more productive. So when we use it, it's pretty similar to how define emits works, where we can throw it in our script setup and pass a type parameter for each of our slots. Then inside of a props property, we can toss the data that we want to pass to our parent component. And the return type doesn't matter, so I'm just going to follow the view docs and say any. Now, when we use this slot inside of our template, we'll get type errors if we're not binding what we said we would. So if we're missing message or message is in a string, we'll get an error. And the same thing happens with name slots. And I think that the reason I like this is because by explicitly defining the structure of our slots, it forces me to think about how I want to use them before we can pass anything to the scope slot and view would assume we know what we're doing. However, by defining the slot type, we get a nice error message that tells us exactly what we did wrong. And define slots gets even better when we think about imported types. For example, if we have this comment title section throughout our app, we could extract the different parts into a separate type and then use this type inside of different define slots across components. This means that if we want to add something to all of our titles, we can update our type here. And since it's consistent across components, we'll be sure that we're using it correctly in all instances of our app. So in terms of actual usage, I'd probably consider this in a similar way to define emits. You don't have to use it for things to work, but it's really nice to improve the DX and make sure your components are doing what you expect them to do, helping you catch errors before they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.